What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be showing you how to retarget on Facebook. Trust me, if you're not doing this, you're leaving a ton of money on the table and none of us wants that. Let's get into it. Okay, so first I'm going to be showing you exactly how to create an audience for retargeting. First, you need to go to audiences, then click create audience and go to custom audience. Then you're going to want to click website traffic and you're going to be taken to a screen that looks like this. Keep in mind I'm using an old website so I don't really care if you see it. The audience probably won't populate because I've gotten very few visitors. Anyway, from here you can select the type of visitors that you want to retarget. As you get more traffic, you may want to create specific retargeting ads for people that have initiated checkout or add to cart, but for now we're going to be focusing on essentially the most basic one, which is view content. This is where you target people that view the product on your website. Now you probably want to filter it out so that you're only targeting people that have viewed a certain product. Click refine by and then click URL. Let's type in winning product as an example. Now you're going to want to exclude the people that actually purchased the product because it wouldn't make sense to be running ads to them saying like complete your purchase or something. All you got to do for this is click exclude and then scroll down until you get to purchase and then you may want to refine it by the product. I generally just retarget people that have viewed the product in the past 10 days but you're welcome to test that out yourself. Now you're done. Just name your audience and you can create it. All right, now let's talk about how to make your retargeting more effective. I highly recommend that you use a different ad to retarget people with. You basically want to hit customers from all angles until they end up purchasing. For normal ads, I usually just use Instagram and Facebook feed, but for retargeting, I'm using a lot of other advertising channels. Next, you're going to want to test discounts. I highly recommend that you include an additional incentive just as you would for abandoned checkouts. I personally include a 20% off promo code on my retargeting ads, but I've also tested free shipping, 15% off, and more. Another thing that your retargeting ads need to have is scarcity. Saying something like, this item is in high demand, but we saved it for you can work really well, especially if you combine it with something like hurry, only a few left in stock. All right guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Just to give you some perspective, I recently watched a video of someone who did over a million in sales in a couple of months. He spent one third of his advertising budget on retargeting. It's huge. If you took some value out of this video, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.